is me and welcome back to another video. I'm here today at the Dynamic Performance Hub and I'm going to be seeing Dee Soyello and she's going to be um, assessing my position, my riding and my fitness. So let's go and see her now. Esme, welcome Hi. to the Dynamic Performance Hub. Come on in. Thank you Come very on. much for having me. Pleasure. So Dee, thank you so much again for having me here. Tell me a little bit more about what you do here at the Dynamic Performance Hub. So we wanted to create a space basically where riders can come of all levels. We've got, um, you know, sort of lower level riders all the way to Olympic gold medalists oh, cool. that come in. Um, and it's basically about working with the horse and rider as a combination, but also focusing very much on the rider being an athlete. Mm -hmm. So we try and we've basically created something where, where in most sports you have at one location, a lot of people come in, say football, rugby, etc. So we wanted to create something where basically you can come, you can look at sports psychology, we can do the biomechanics sessions with you. Oh, awesome. Um, in terms of both horse and rider, then you can come in, do all your gym side of things, be treated, etc. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at both of you as athletes um, but that's a big big thing for us for riders to now think of themselves as athletes yep. so mm -hmm. I think let's get cracking yep and we'll get you on the bike to get warmed up we'll go through some stretches go through some exercises and then we'll get you out on the horse awesome and treat you sounds good yeah? let's go yeah let's go you're going to try and get up to about 80 on it okay oh okay yeah so just work yourself work yourself up to that well done yeah Come on. Well done, go on. Okay. Do you do any, do you normally do any Pilates or anything? What do you do? Not much. Naughty. <laughs> Luckily, after that workout on the bike, we did something a little bit more relaxing afterwards. And then you're going to come all the way up, yeah? So you think about your vertebrae, basically, and you want to go one piece at a time. Mm -hmm. So then we start with the... So to come down, we then start at the bottom, roll your back, so you come all the way down, yeah. And then look up, again, yeah, so from here all the way through. There you go. You just want to think about each part as you go. So you really, it's just about basically opening up your back and just getting your back moving as much yeah. as possible. Then after some more relaxing stretching and really opening up my back, the workout became a little bit more intense again. If you thought holding the plank was difficult, try doing it while lifting weights and lifting your leg up and down at the same time. After doing this exercise, we could really see what side I was weaker on. You've got asymmetries, which you will do, mm -hmm. the vast majority of riders, even, even the best riders in the world yeah. have asymmetries, trust me. Um, that then they're actually putting their asymmetries onto the horse. You know, when you're, because, so you need to warm up yourself so then you don't then put that onto, especially a yeah. youngster like Joey. How do you find holding that? A little wobbly. Let, so let's see how you're, look how you're putting one there. There you go. What? Yeah. That feels wonky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing, that's straight. That's, no. It is, and that's because of actually what we'll look at in terms of you with your pulling as mm -hmm. well, hence your, so that, and that's, try the other side. That feels bizarre. That's why, you know how you were saying earlier about with the bouldering and things, you'll yeah. find that that will also, it's really important to know what other sports riders do, mm -hmm. because it will come in, you've got four, how do you feel on this one? More stable. Yeah. So you can even do like a bit of perturbation training, so you have to hold <laughs> things even when I'm... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you're quite strong. We then did this weird exercise on the ground, and I don't know why, but in every single clip, I look like I'm so grumpy, but I promise it's just my concentration face. It's really important that you're balanced, because you got to think they can feel a fly. Mm -hmm. So they will feel if you're slightly sitting one side more than the other. Yeah. So what you want to think about is just relaxing your seat as though you're in a saddle, mm -hmm. yeah? Keeping open and up through the body, yeah? Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to take our feet up. That's not bad at all. Well done. Where do you, now, where do you feel you go more? I feel like when I'm riding, if I'm going to lean more one way, it's probably like that. Yeah, so most riders, they'll, it depends, everyone's different. But I, maybe that's because both of my horses are weaker on that rein, so they kind of 
go over go a little bit and then lean on me a little bit. But do you know why? That, that, that is so important. You know that exercise we just did? Mm. For you to support, everyone always says about the inside rein, but actually it's you supporting through here. Yeah. You need to support more through the left glue. And again, yeah, super. But see how you're moving, you're, to get up, you're having to sort of move your upper mm. body. And that might be because you're quite tight through your hip flexors as well. Oh, I heard some clicking yeah. then. I think I am tight. Right, try with the feet off the floor now. There you go. Think about holding for it, I think it's this left side that you're slightly um, weaker on, if you like. There you go, well done. Not bad, but now just try and think about relaxing as much as you can through here, yeah? Go into riding position, so hold, yeah. I've got you. Right, okay, now we're gonna straighten up so you don't look like a jockey. The ball's now, rolling underneath me. Yeah, but you that's your thing to then rebalance. Oh, don't worry, I've got you. There you go. Right, now try and breathe <laughs> whilst you're there. Well done. Yeah, relax through here. Relax, 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 deep breathing. After some intense concentration from me balancing on the ball, it was then time to do some more exercises with it. And after I did it with both legs, it was then time to go down to one. And here again, we can really see the asymmetry in me favoring one side compared to the other. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this arm back mm -hmm. and then this arm back. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, you brought that arm up mm -hmm. and you want to go slightly pulling your chest. You want to keep as straight as you can through mm -hmm. here and just use your back muscles. Okay. Yeah. Now go. A million times better. Yeah. Again, this one. Well done. Yeah, you're using your back muscles. Yeah, again. And then our competition mm -hmm. is going to be to see who can stay here the longest. You're going to win that one. <laughs> I'm actually not, I'm not actually that good at it, to be honest with you. Three, two, one, go. It's a really good one, but then actually you can make it harder and make it more so, yeah, because then you've got to do I don't the know pulsing. If that's, I don't know if that might be better though, because then at least you're moving, you've something to think about, yeah. I don't know. Try and keep as straight as you can. Yeah, go on. See how you'll, t like, you like to bring that shoulder out, which is what you did yeah. on the horse. So you've got to get, so, one more. What do you feel? A bit of a wiggle. When you did the left, when you're on that, that's why you're not, then you're not stabilizing through that section. You've got to always think, keep this here, yeah? Mm -hmm. So that you keep as strong as you can through there. We're gonna go here, and then we're gonna go slightly to the right. There you go. Only slightly so that we keep the pelvis. Okay. Then up, join, then we're going left, yeah. Why do I always struggle with it? I need to like mentally prepare myself before I do the step. Try and keep the toe straight, there you go, yeah. And down, then, yeah, got your feet, and then through, super. Right, next one, through, leg, there you go, yeah. But the whole thing is that you want to keep as up as you can through here. There you go, that's a bit, that's better. Right, so we've come outside, put our nitro boots on, mm -hmm. because what we want to do is try and make it as replicable as riding. So okay. a lot of people put their stirrups more like here, yep. and it doesn't give you a huge amount of support. So I'll show you why we want to put a little bit more foot into our stirrup. Okay. And also it's a really good exercise to do before you get on, yep. basically. So it activates the right muscles. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do turn is we around. turn around, Right, so if you imagine, just so you, you can see, mm -hmm. if you put your stirrups where some people will have them <laughs> here, yeah. try and stabilise. Yeah, that's, it's not, oh. Yeah? Yeah. So you need to have a little bit more foot in your stirrups so that then mm -hmm. your Achilles, you can get as much absorption as, as possible. So if yep. you go again, so that you can then do this with the Achilles. There you go. Mm -hmm. Right, but try and keep where you're just slightly. So now we're gonna look up whilst we do it. Yeah, super. And then back down again. Really good. There you go, all the way up. Yeah, 
down. Do you feel that in your car? Yeah. Yeah? What do you feel difference right and left? I'm better with my right. Yeah. 100%. You're a lot stronger on the right, so we need yep. to work on that with the horse. Mm -hmm. So I think let's get you on a horse, yep. and then we'll go from there. Awesome, sounds yeah. good. So meet OJ, he is a two-star event horse that I had the honour to ride, and oh my goodness, he was just absolutely awesome. Are you my steed for the day? Oh, you have the most gorgeous pink nose. I've apparently got a protruding piece of hair. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is what the PR company do. <laughs> is that probably <laughs> <laughs> Protruding hair, social media. <laughs> this. Got everything we need. Got a dog. So Dee, it's now time for the riding section. Who do we have here? So this is OJ. He's Hi. a two-star event horse. Oh. He's very, very sweet. I think you're really going to like him. Oh. Basically, what we're going to do is what we focused on in the gym. It's very likely that you'll probably have the same strengths and weaknesses on the horse. Mm -hmm. But we'll see what you do. We'll put the bands on you as well to see how much we can improve certain things. Yep. Um, have a good look at everything. Get slobber all over us. Yeah. <laughs> Um, have a good look at everything and just see what areas that we can improve on. Awesome. Let's go, OJ. Let's have a little look at you. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, sorry. Sorry, my bad. Kick you in the stomach. So, see, do you remember what I said about when we were doing the calf raises? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So you've got to have your mop because otherwise, exact same as when we did the calf raise, you'd fall back yeah. or forward, yeah? So always have this amount of foot in the stirrup. It's really, really important. Okay. What you want to think about is rather than thinking about taking the weight down from into your stirrup from the foot, okay? Mm -hmm. Think about from your pelvis, dropping your weight, then it comes down. Okay. And then again, like what we said in the gym, you want to be there. You've got to try and keep a straighter back in the dressage okay. seat, yeah? And the big thing with you is staying open, mm -hmm. like really open through your chest. Oh, just, I just want to push my feet back through the stirrups. See? <laughs> I don't like this. It's really important though, isn't it? Then it was time to ride OJ and get used to him. And I'm not going to lie, he felt quite different to riding Joey. Okay. And then what you're going to think about, you know how we had the bands on and you were thinking about your elbows? Yeah. You've got to try and always have a bend in your elbow so that if you look at me, you want to think when you're here, you take, this is how you take the bend. So you take it through the elbow rather than through the hand mm -hmm. and turn as well. So you should see like if you're on the right side, if you're on the right rein, for example, be that you're actually actively looking to the right rein. So you come here, but always support the outside. There you go, there you go, better. But have a little bit more bend. Yeah, good, good, well done. Super, isn't it? Good riding. But see how now your leg, like it naturally does drop down and you're not pointing out. Yeah. So it just stabilizes you a lot more in the saddle. See like now where you've got him in this carriage. Yeah. Open up through your chest. Look, go, go long if you like. Bend through the left. Go and take it back like the elastic band. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Well done. It's really hard to be able to be told something all the time, but not being able to see it. Mm -hmm. So when you can actually see what you're doing, it, it really helps. That's a lot better. That's a lot better. Well done. Carry the hands a little bit higher. Yeah. Well done. There you are. There you are. Beautiful. Yeah. Get the turn. Go and really think, like be proud of how you're, you're sat. Really open up through that chest, then take the arm back. Hands higher. He's in, you need, he should be in self carriage himself. So almost imagine like if I cut your reins, that you would be able to stay where you are and he would be able to stay where he is. There you go, there you go, there you go. Hands up, hands up, go on, go on, go on. There you are. Isn't that look super? Really good. How does he feel? Better, yeah. There you go. 
let's get let's actually put the bands on you keep the bend like what we did when you we were riding keep mm -hmm. there and you're gonna be there when okay. you're on that rein he can go in better self-carriage so really keep the bend okay yeah but you've got to keep the resistance because when you keep the resistance on the band it naturally engages the muscles that you should be using you've gone back to your little <laughs> your little feet well done Right, and also just come up the centre line so that we can video you, see where you're at. Okay. Have a play with that first. Okay. But you've really got to keep the engagement mm -hmm. and you've got to be there. Okay. Yeah. So you just get him down on that contact. There you go. It feels weird because it feels like my heels aren't down. They are. Okay. I'm looking at them. <laughs> but it really does help, especially show jumpers and eventers. It's really, it's really important. Well done. Keep that bend all the time. Bend in the elbow, bend in the elbow, hands up, yeah. And half halt, if he gets strong, just half halt him. Well done, well done. Keep the bend, keep the bend. Elbow, bend, elbow, elbow, elbow. So you ride off, off of your back rather than the hand. There you go, there you go. Stay relaxed with the hand. Think about like Play-Doh or something in the hand. There you are, see, see. Always keep the contact. There you go. It's so beautiful. Well done. What does that feel like? So much better. Yeah. At any level, it's important, but at elite level, it's crucial. Yeah. Um, I think have a canter, and then I'm going to put the body bands on you. Super. There you go. Perfect. Good boy. Good well man. Done. Well done. Well done, Esme. Super. Esme, that's really good. See? There you go. Lovely. So that was a little bit more hard work than I was expecting. The bands really are working against me or working with me, whatever you want to say, but it feels like, you know, I've got all this pressure on me that's obviously putting me in the right place. And there were some times where OJ was quite enthusiastic. We had, we had quite a bit of speed, but then once he settled and once I felt like I got into a good position and I became softer, he became softer as well and he felt amazing and it's been quite strange getting onto a obviously a two-star event horse compared to no offense to joey he's still a little bit young a little bit gangly so it's like wow i have like a real powerhouse beneath me right now it feels really strange riding differently for example it doesn't feel like my heels are down right now i know that they are because everyone's saying that they are but it doesn't feel like it yeah there's a lot to think about obviously riding a horse i've never ridden before but also position wise for example i really need to remember to keep my my shoulders back that's what a lot of my instructors say and uh, yeah I keep being told to have my elbows elbows bent and there's a, there's a lot to think about but we're gonna put some new bands on now and see how that goes well done AJ really think about using these glute muscles your back keeping up and open mm -hmm. and perfect with your that is that is almost a perfect frame there yeah isn't it? So go with that and let's see how, let's see how we get on. Okay. What do you feel? Pressure. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to always keep the resistance on it. That's the biggest thing. The second you lose the resistance, the band isn't working properly. Okay. But I just want to see what you're like just with one for now. What about now? I mean, it's not awful. I feel like I'm just kind of strapped in. That's, I think that's, a, that's enough resistance on okay. you. But even there, you can see that you sit over to the right. You sit to the left, but you collapse over to the right. Okay. There you go, super. Well done. Oh, Esme, well done. Remember hands, soft with the hands, use your back muscles. Well done. There you go. Up and open. There's my super riding. Against the bands, resist, resist. There you go. Good, half hold. Remember, deep breaths, deep breaths. Ooh. There you go, there you go. How do you feel? Really good now. What are the big things that you're thinking about that's different to how you... Because obviously I don't normally see you ride. 
Yeah. What are the what are the biggest differences that you're feeling? I think it's my elbows and keeping my hands up wide and having the bend of my elbows. I think my sort of automatic defense mechanism is going ah yeah, like this. Yeah. And I think also like uh, with the bands on now, yeah. I can really feel it in my shoulders and I'm really focusing on keeping my shoulders back, opening up and trying to be as soft as I can as well. Yeah. See? Good, Good boy. Good well boy. done. Well done. Esme, lovely. Right, now just start, focus on you. You don't need to focus on the horse, okay? Just you. Remember, use your elbows. That's your mechanism now for your strength. Soft with the hands, use your back. There you go. There you go. Isn't that super? You, that, that looks beautiful. How do you feel up there? A lot more confident and soft and it just feels really nice. Okay, have a trot and then we're going to take the bands off. Okay. Wait, remember, elbows, don't go back to Whoa. your thing. You go half hold, half hold, you can do it. And trotting. See? Esme, that's good because you, I think you would have normally done yeah. that. That was really good because you went straight. You actually did what, that was perfect. Yeah. Right, now feel with the bands off the difference. Yeah, and then I'll come around. Oh, Esme, maybe you should be a dressage rider. <laughs> There you go, there you go. I mean, I have been jo enjoying dressage a lot lately. Esme, that's good, that's very good. Honestly, you look super. There's actually nothing really I would change about that. That looks really good. Lovely, see how now he's like a lot more softer? Yeah. What do you feel? What's the biggest things you're feeling? We've got a nice impulsion, a nice collection, and yeah, he just feels really soft, as you said before. Yeah. You see how now, because for me, a big thing is that your knee looks a lot softer as well. Yeah. You don't look like you're gripping. There you go, there you are. Really good. Well done. Come up the centre line at some point as well. Let me just show you as well in a second. I'm going to show you a video so that you can actually see what you're doing. Oh, perfect in terms of straightness, Esme. He's going well. Well done. Good boy. I think super. Really, really good. So main things to focus on mm -hmm. going forward. What are they going to be? Give me three. Okay, so the three things are going to be having an L with my elbow, yeah. keeping my elbows back and bent, especially yeah. when I go into panic mode if a horse goes a little bit faster than expected, Yeah. Um, to keep my shoulders back and my back straight. Yeah. And I think what we need to work on... And focus on weight down. Yeah, and when you're in the gym, your biggest things are focusing on here and here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So because we're not, we've got to get with you. We've got to get the left side a lot stronger. Okay. That's definitely the weaker side, and that's yep. why I think he went a little bit quicker on the left because you're not quite yeah. as strong through that section. Mm. But really beautiful. I loved how I loved how soft it looked, and it just looked all quite easy yeah. and like you could be there all day. But a, a big thing, a, a very big thing about you actually is a, which is quite rare to be fair is you do always look up, yeah, which is really nice. But just really think about that frame, feet, etc. Okay. And you will be, you'll be away. Awesome. But concentrate on that until yep. next time, and then we'll go from there. Thank you very much, Dee. Pleasure. And well done, OJ. Good boy, OJ. As well. Good boy. <laughs> he was good, wasn't he? Yeah, he's really cool. <laughs> he's a nice horse. He's really nice. Hey, monkey. Well done. I've just finished my session with OJ and oh my goodness, what an awesome horse. He was so much fun to ride. I could really feel the difference compared, especially as Dee showed me some videos on her iPad, especially like the beginning of the session compared to the end. I feel like the end, I felt a lot softer. Um, we had a really nice connection and he, then he felt softer too. And I could really 
feel the difference. So hopefully when I watch back and edit the footage of the video today, I can see the difference as well. But I have a lot to think about, a lot to work on, but hopefully when I come to riding Joey, even though he's younger and I have a lot more to think about for him, I can think a little bit more about my position and what I'm doing with myself. And hopefully that will help Joey as well. But I think OJ here definitely deserves some treats and a head scratchy, yes. You were so good, well done mister. Dee and I then had another look on her iPad at some of the videos that she took, especially looking at my position and how it had changed throughout the session compared to the beginning and the end, and also some of the things that I needed to work on in my riding. After that, it was then time for my treatment, so Dee had a look at my back and got me to go in lots of different positions, and here you can see my left shoulder is a lot more built up and muscly compared to my right, so I do have quite a lot of asymmetry. <laughs> okay, you're coming up, down, okay. yeah? I'm just going onto your glute med, basically, and then I'm just getting you to, you're going to be releasing the muscle through mm -hmm. me putting pressure. Really good. What does that feel like? <laughs> it's like I've got claws in me. <laughs> Not to be rude, I know you're doing a good job. <laughs> it will make a massive difference when you get back on. Okay, right. I'm going to swizzle you on your front. So I've had a bad back for quite a while. I've actually been diagnosed with connective tissue disorder. So this means that my muscles get a lot more tense than the average person. I get a lot more knots. And here Dee was really releasing that tension in my muscles, especially in my jaw as well, as I'm quite an anxious person. So yeah, go. Okay, I'm going to provide resistance. Up, 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 up. Yeah, and down. Good. And again. Resist, resist against me. Yeah, well done. Down. And once more. Good. Now on your own. Well done. That really hurts my bum cheeks. Yeah, but I tell you why. Because you don't use said bum cheek at all. You yeah. do not use this bum. Right. And lastly, it was time for Dee to take me up and help me with my posture. But I want, what I want you to focus on when you're riding is this section here. And that rather than what you did at the very beginning when we are in the gym, is that you take the contact through here and your hands. I want everything now to come from here so you stay really light and um, lower through the shoulder. Thank you so much, Dee, again for having me. And oh my goodness, that treatment, I'm not gonna lie, my eyes were watering a little <laughs> bit at times. You really did, I, I feel like, yeah, you really did find the spots where I was a little bit, a little bit tougher. <laughs> but um, yeah, my back, you were saying, was a little bit asymmetrical. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for having me here today. I feel like I've got a lot of exercises to do. We'll to keep me going. Program. Yeah. Yeah. Until I see you next. Until That'll you be see great. You next. Um, keep up with the exercises because we've got to get you a lot more flexible, but we've also got to strengthen you so mm -hmm. you stay like that and it helps your riding both on, well, and also on off the horse. Yeah. Well, anyway, where can people find you if they want to check out what you're doing? Dynamic Performance Hub. Um, I'm here in Gloucestershire, so, and just on Instagram, Facebook, and then the website, dynamicperformancehub.com. Awesome, so I'll leave a little link in the description below if you guys want to check it out. But anyway, I just want to say thank you to Dee for having me again, and thanks to okay. Aria for making this video possible. And yeah, thank you so much everybody for watching today's video. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe, because it really does help me out, and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye! Bye! Oh. <laughs> what a cutie! <laughs>